Hey Pisces, welcome to the first half of November love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is the sixth time. The sixth time. I am trying to do your reading. I have spent all morning, like the last two and a half hours or so, trying to get your reading done. Okay, I already did the partner reading, but Pisces, multiple reasons why I haven't been able to get your reading done. When I tap into your energy, I just instantly get drained. I get so drained. I had to lay down a couple times and last time I actually fell asleep. Um, so Pisces, someone could be draining your energy or, and I, honestly, I feel like some of you are really hyper-focused on a person or a situation and it's draining the life out of you. It's almost too much focus or too much work or too much stress. Okay. You know who you are. Keep in mind, Pisces, I picked up on a lot of different messages for you guys. So just take home what resonates. Okay. Don't try to make all of these messages fit that I'm about to tell you that I picked up in the meditative session and the multiple times I tried to do reading okay um i was watching the taurus premiere someone was going crazy trying to make shit fit like to the point where they're like mad and frustrated guys not everything is going to fit for everybody not every reading is for everybody and and like i said i get multiple messages for people so in that case where i get multiple messages they're not all going to fit also the last time i tried to do your reading the camera glitched out and i just saw a little glitch i'm debating if i should even continue um i'm going to continue I'm going to continue. If the audio gets messed up, like if the audio doesn't sync with the um, visuals, I apologize. It is Mercury retrograde. This has also been happening more and more with my phone. I am trying to switch over to a new camera system. But anyway, Pisces, let's go back to you. Let's go back to you. Okay. Um, so keep in mind of energy vampires or putting too much energy or focus on one person or one situation. It is draining some of you a lot. Okay. So please be mindful of that some of you are dealing with codependent energies. I picked up on another group of you where you're out and about enjoying yourself. You're spending time with friends, you're hanging out with family, you're going out, you're going to the bars or clubbing or whatever your good time socially is to you, okay? And for you, for those of you in that group, those who are committed, you have a partner that's not happy about it. It's like, why aren't you spending time with me and you're spending time with everyone else? Someone's feeling that way, again, feels a very, a little codependent, a little codependent energy there. Um, others of you Pisceans who are more single, someone's watching you do this. It's kind of like someone's watching you just glow in your own radiance like glow in your own energy and just really enjoying yourself and it's very attractive and they want to approach you pisces but they have a lot of conflicts about it for whatever reason or never or an above above <laughs> for whatever reason or another uh they have some uh some some hesitation there okay they're fighting with themselves on it for what again for whatever reason or another okay um, there was one more thing. I know there was one more thing. Shit. I did. This is like my sixth time. So hold on. Let me try to like remember everything that came out to me. Oh, let sleeping dogs lie. That's what it was. Let sleeping dogs lie. That came out the very first time I tapped into your energy. That was the very first thing I heard was let sleeping dogs lie. Pisces, it is Mercury retrograde. We all, you know, all of us kind of second guess or think about stuff from the past or people from the past about the decisions we've made, the actions we've taken, even our own perspectives on things or the things we've said to people. And Pisces, I feel like you've walked away from a situation or you've decided to not wait on a person or situation anymore. And this has already taken place and you're second guessing it or it's coming up in your head like, was that the right way to handle that? Should I have done that? I don't know. Maybe. You know, you're kind of like in your head about it. Keep in mind, guys, all these messages can be reversed or vice versa. Okay. I don't know if I said that. This is my sixth time. I don't know what I said anymore. Um, <laughs> just, you know, just, I'm just being honest with you. Um, for those who are second guessing, keep in mind, Pisces, someone could be second guessing something they did to you or said to you. Let sleeping dogs lie. Leave it alone. Okay. A situation, a person or you needs to be left alone here. Okay. I feel like whatever decisions were made, it was the right decision. And I feel like it was almost a situation where it's like someone was like not stepping up to the plate. Like someone was very inactive versus like you who was very like active and giving a lot of energy, trying, trying, trying. And the other person was kind of not doing nearly as much. And Pisces, I think you just called it. I think you're just like... <laughs> I just got a flash from an emergency room. So you could be working um, in the medical field. Like you just called it. Like like calling a oh guy so macabre, which is so funny because that's actually one of the words that came up in the very first reading. Um, also silver came up. Don't know why that came up. That might apply to some of you. Maybe you guys just bought jewelry recently. Um, also heard Poseidon, but that wasn't surprising to me because you guys are associated with Neptune. Okay, which goes direct to the end of November. Keep in mind, you're going to feel that push really hard. Anyway. Um, yeah, it's like, I think you just called it. Honestly, I think you're just like, oh, time of death. <laughs> like, like, oh, I can't do this. Like, ah, I can't do this. I can't be active. I can't wait, 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 wait. I can't, like very three of wands. Like, I can't keep waiting for you to step up to the plate and do some shit about this, okay? 
all these messages I got for you, Pisceans, or people who are energetically attached to you. So take them as they resonate, whether they were, whether it's someone doing this to you, you and this, you doing this to someone, or with, or it's someone experiencing this within your environment or someone you're energetically attached to. Okay, do not try to make all these fit, Pisces. Let's get into the pre-shuffle. Okay, all right. Closing for messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Keep in mind, Pisces, for those where you're second-guessing something that you did previously or a person you walked away from previously, you might be suddenly thinking about it, not just because it's Mercury retrograde, but also because they might be thinking about it, and you could be picking up on that. That tends to happen. If someone's putting a lot of thought or energy into a person, even if the person's not in their environment, typically the other person will feel that. Okay? Closing forward to new messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Mm. Wow. Hair font in reverse. Taurian energy. I'm hearing I don't want to listen. That's actually what I'm getting with that. I don't want to listen. I don't want to listen. Why? That's so, that's so weird. I don't want to listen. I don't want to hear. I, I don't, I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear. That's so weird. I've never gotten that from the Hierophant in Reverse. Hierophant in Reverse is also a rebellious energy. It's someone kind of um, being a little stubborn as well. Someone being stubborn. Um, someone wanting not to, not to like follow the rules. Closing forward, any messages of um, truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter first half of November, but that's what I honestly got from that. I don't want to listen. Okay. Okay. Someone's not listening to their higher self for sure. Looking forward to any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Closing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. First half of November regarding love. I just heard I'm not committed to anybody. Interesting. I'm not committed to anybody. Um, Pisces, even if you're in an actual commitment, you might be acting very rebellious and very free right now. Very indicative of the energy we're in. Uh, that new moon in Scorpio was aspecting Uranus at the time of the new moon. And it was a really, really strong aspect because it was an exact opposition here. Um, and it created a lot of energy of wanting to be emotionally free from people and be very independent, especially within relationships. So some of you could be in this rebellious energy. I... <laughs> Magician in reverse, mercurial energy. So Virgo, Gemini could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy with the six of cups. Oh boy, six of cups, scorpionic energy. I don't want to call this a Lazarus. I really don't. So tired of Lazarus. I mean, we're in Lazarus season, super Lazarus season at that. But I am getting manipulation here. I am getting manipulation, and it feels like it's definitely with a soulmate at the very least, or just from the past. This could be someone who manipulated you, Pisces, and you don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. No, someone's not learning. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Spirit. I know, lots of messages, guys. Lots of messages. Someone's not learning from their past mistakes. I feel like it's this person who acts manipulative. Please forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Pisces. I, I need it to go my way, I just heard. I need it to go my way. Please forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Pisces, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Empress in reverse, Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy, Queen of Wands in reverse, Aries energy, could also be fire or water with the three of swords in reverse, Libra energy. I don't know about you guys, but I see three characters here. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, you guys, I love you. I love you to death. I just don't like seeing these situations here, okay? Definitely some of this is a third party situation. Um, I feel like it's been left unresolved. <laughs> I feel like it's been left unresolved. It's been left unresolved. Someone has been um, a little manipulative here with a soulmate energy, possibly too. They're not learning their lesson. They don't really want to listen to their own intuition here. And I feel two feminine energies with this. I really feel two. I don't feel one. Uh, for mo for some of you, it could just be one energy. Yeah, for some of you, it is one. But definitely, I'm feeling that third party, man. Mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> definitely I'm feeling that third party I can feel your irritation too Pisces like really I know I know I know I know keep in mind it's just the pre-shuffle okay just the pre-shuffle I feel like this is passing energy though it doesn't feel super like how do I say this it doesn't feel upcoming like it feels like it's passing already yeah it feels like it's passing already I'm getting jealousy here it's like I'm feeling one energy one feminine energy it could be a male doesn't matter we're reading energy not gender I feel one energy has turned their back already on a situation while the other one's jealous Ooh, well, the other one's very, very jealous here. But with three of swords in reverse, I mean, like I said, I feel like it's a passing energy. I, if there was a third party, I don't feel like it's existing anymore. I don't feel, it's, I feel like it's existing anymore. And someone was definitely being manipulative in the situation, a masculine energy. And they haven't learned their lesson. They don't want to listen to their higher self. Very uh, stubborn, defiant. Thank you. Very defiant. Very defiant. This is interesting, Pisces. Okay, let's keep it going. Please bring forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Because of Mercury retrograde, this could just be being brought up. Okay, an event from the past. For those where it's just like between two people and it's not a third party situation. Again, third parties can also just be a meddling energy. I do feel three people here though. I do feel three people here. It could just be a family issue as well. It could be a family issue. Because we do have the Six of Cups here. If it's a family issue, a parent doesn't want to listen. Sorry, parents out there. If this is a if this is a family issue, a parent specifically, they're saying parent doesn't mean that they're your parent. It could be like a sibling of yours who has kids, but they're saying a parent. A parent doesn't want to listen. Okay, um, but for those of you where this is a romantic situation and there's just two people here, a feminine energy is healing. From a masculine energy being very manipulative. But there's some lessons not being learned here. I feel resistance on both ends. In that case where it's just two people involved in a romantic situation. Where a masculine energy was very manipulative towards a feminine energy here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And as I say that. Page of Cups in reverse. Dishonesty. <laughs> Dishonesty and deceit. And Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy could also be earth or fire. No growth could happen in this situation. Yeah, because somebody was, yeah, it's this masculine energy. Whoever this masculine energy is, uh, they were very dishonest, holding back a lot, and really kept the situation stagnant for both third-party situations and two-party situations. Oh, Lord, Pisces. Okay, all right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into your reading. For those who are new to tarot, new to my channel, please know messages are very, very general. Messages come through for those who need to hear them. So if this isn't your message and you're feeling happy, 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 that's okay. <laughs> Not, like I said, not all these messaging, messages can be for everybody. Please check out any other reader on YouTube if you're not resonating with me. Energy can be reversed or vice versa. And like I said before, please only take home what resonates. Um, also, guys, we are reading energy, not gender. Don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. This is for the first half of November, but time is not linear. Whenever you're guided to watch reading is when you're guided to watch it. Okay? Any messages for Pisces? Regarding love for the first half of November. Any messages for Pisces regarding love for the first half of November? Oh, it's interesting. They're showing me friends again. That came through in the second time I tried to do your reading. I can't believe how many times I tried to do your reading, Pisces. I just saw ferns. Um, some of you guys could be into gardening or planning your garden. That's interesting, planning your garden. Yes, yeah, some of you are planning your garden here. Um, okay. Careful of spores. I don't know why that just came through. Careful of spores. Okay. Careful of spores, Pisces. <laughs> for those in the gardening situation. Any messages for Pisces regarding love for the first half of November? Any messages for Pisces regarding love for the first half of November? You're showing me a bell. I mean, a bell. I like. I don't know the spiritual meaning behind a bell. I just think of time. I honestly just think of time when it comes to bells. Um, please post below if that means something specific to you. That's just what I get with that time. Like, it's just time. It's just time. Any messages for Pisces regarding love? For the first half of November. Any messages for Pisces regarding love for the first half of November? 
Any messages for Pisces? Oh, of course, Pisces. <laughs> someone could have a, Pis a Pisces moon placement here, but not necessarily. Or someone could be a Cancer sun, Cancer rising. Okay. Uh, Piscean energy could also be Cancerian for me as a reader. The moon. I'm getting total illusion with this, to be honest with you. Total illusion. I feel like someone's barking and someone's not listening. More of this, like, I don't want to listen. I don't want to listen. Yeah, I, I honestly feel like someone is like, barking in someone's ear whether that's like a, a real you know a three-dimensional person to another three-dimensional three person or it's like your intuition or your spirit guides like talking 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 and it's like you're kind of not listening or not wanting to listen i feel like it's more the latter for someone here or for someone you're connecting to yeah i feel heavy emotion and confusion and illusion with this Let's see what else we got someone's observing wait whoa 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 someone's observing the situation what the hell is this hold on Whoever's not listening to whoever, whoever's not listening, just chop it up to that. Whoever's not listening to someone or something barking in someone's ear, I'm getting specifically the right ear. That's interesting. Oh, it's probably vice versa because it's the mirror camera, but I'm getting specifically the right ear. If you're having a lot of ear pain, like on the right side, uh, start listening to your intuition here. Okay. Start, start paying attention. Start paying attention. Spirit's trying to talk to you loudly. Okay. Loudly. Um, the right side's also associated with masculine energy, while the left side's associated with feminine energy. That might help some of you here. Someone's got a lot of like ringing in the right ear or a lot of right ear pain. Um, anyway, someone's observing this whole thing. They're not intervening, but someone's observing. That's what they want me to say. Oh, Jesus. Four of wands in reverse. Aries energy. Pisces. Pisces. I was hoping for a really awesome, fun read. That's okay. It's still fun. It's still fun. It's always still fun. I just feel like you're taking me for an emotional roller coaster. I think some of you might be feeling that. Maybe that's why I'm feeling. Yeah, that's why I'm feeling that way. It's like, it's not really that crazy of a read. I'm just feeling like I'm on an emotional roller coaster. Some of you are on that. Some of you are connecting to someone on that here. Um, confusion around a foundation. This one, honestly, this foundation, whatever this foundation is, it could be a home situation. Uh, it's something that had been built. Okay, let me put it that way. It's something that had been built and time had been put into, okay? Um, I feel like it's broken, Pisces. I gotta be honest. I feel like it's broken and something's nagging in your ear. Your right ear, that's so interesting. Your right ear specifically about this and it's being ignored. Keep in mind someone you're connecting to could be experiencing this. They want me to say barking specifically. Any messages for Pisces regarding love for the first half of November? And then there's a third party watching, just watching all of this, observing from afar, not intervening. That's so interesting. Any messages for Pisces? Oh boy. Queen of Swords, almost a like Queen of Wands, interesting. Queen of Swords, Libra energy could also be air or water with the Six of Pentacles, Taurian energy, and Six of Cups in reverse, um, Scorpionic energy. Someone's cutting something out because they feel like that's the fair thing to do. Six of Cups in reverse. I'm just getting a lot a lot of unhappiness. I'm getting a lot of unhappiness. And it's, it, oh yeah, there's the emotional roller coaster. It's like from sadness to anger, sadness to rage, to disappointment, to depression even. Interesting, to depression. To agitation yeah i'm just feeling emotional roller coaster with this and basically someone is just someone's being like you know what voice of reason i gotta do what's right i gotta do what's fair for everyone involved i gotta cut out this emotional roller coaster or the source of this emotional roller coaster this emotional roller coaster is breaking this foundation i feel like it's already broken pisces whatever this is um and there's been a lot of ignoring of that for a while and someone's finally just like no can't ignore this shit anymore can't ignore this shit anymore See what else wants to come out here. Any other messages? Any other messages for Pisces regarding love for the first half of November? Any other messages for Pisces? Whoa! <laughs> Cards vomited at me. Any other messages for Pisces regarding love for the first half of November? We have three other cards out here. Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Wow. And then five of Pentacles, Taurian energy with the Nine of Swords. And oh. Okay, Mercury. But the Nine of Swords in reverse Gemini energy here. Someone's worried about being cut out. It's like, this is so interesting. It's like, 
Because one person's barking, 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 barking. The other person's just like, I'm not seeing that. I'm not hearing that shit. I'm not, uh, what? Well, what's going on? What? No, 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 no. What's broken? Nothing's broken. Like, like in total denial about something. And someone's just cutting that shit out. Like, it's just not fair to either party anymore. And cutting out the source of this emotional roller coaster. But it's, there's someone over here anxiety ridden about being pushed out. Like they already kind of knew it was going to happen. This is so interesting. It just feels like a massive delay of a separating of ways that really needed to happen, to be honest, that really needed to be, need, oh, that really needed to be, that really needed to happen. <laughs> that really needed to happen. Oh, And this four of pentacles, I do feel like someone, yeah. Yeah, I feel like this is the person who's been trying to ignore it with that four of pentacles, like really holding back, really not really not talking about it, really not wanting to talk about it, not wanting to hear it, not wanting to talk about it. And the other person, the Queen of Swords is like, oh no, we're talking about this. This is the Barker. This is the Barker, okay? This is the Barker. Whether it's, you know, spiritual influences there or not, because it definitely is there for some of you, but I'm telling you, there's a third person. Again, it could be an ancestor, a guide, what have you, or an actual three-dimensional human being is watching this play out. So you've got the Barker, and the person who doesn't want to hear it and doesn't want to talk about it. And someone's watching. Overall energy. We have a two of cups. Two of cups. Cancerian energy, also soulmate energy for me as a reader. And then we have the knight of pentacles here. Virgo energy uh, could also be earth or fire. Ugh. So this connection is a soulmate connection for sure. But this is like, yeah, this feels like someone's leaving. This feels like someone's leaving. Someone's leaving a connection behind. Yeah, someone's leaving a connection behind. All right, Pisces. I'm just the messenger. Don't claim a reading if it ain't yours, right? Especially if it's like, you know, if you feel like it's negative or, you know, negative. There's no such thing as negative, right? Negative. Um, don't claim it if it's not yours, okay? But let's break these energies down a little bit. Let's look at the moon. I feel like there's a lot going on in that moon energy. <laughs> there's a lot going on there. I'm going to use the Honest Truth deck for this one. Tell me about the moon. Tell me about the moon for Pisces regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about the moon. Tell me about the moon. For Pisces regarding love for the first half of November. Time with the moon. Time with the moon. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, Seven of Pentacles, Taurian energy and Justice Libra energy. Seven of Pentacles is reevaluation. I feel like this Barker, the Queen of Swords, the Barker, is really wanting like to sit down at the table and be like, hey. Can we talk about shit? Because shit ain't right, okay? Because <laughs> shit should not be an emotional roller coaster. It should not be an emotional roller coaster. It's like someone's like begging to have this conversation. Keep in mind, Pisces, this could be something that's taken place in the past and it could just be on your mind right now because of Mercury retrograde and the other person's thinking about it too. So also keep that in mind if you've already experienced this. But someone just wants to bring balance to the situation because they know, the Barker knows that this is broken. They know something needs to be balanced. They know something needs to be fixed, but someone's just in denial about it. Someone's in denial about it. Play about the moon. For Pisces regarding love for the first half of November. Time about the moon. Oh, yeah. See, Ten of Pentacles in reverse Virgo energy. Totally broken foundation. Um, you could have been married to this person, not necessarily Pisces. Queen of Swords is a divorcee card. But basically, it's a long-term foundation that is now broken. For some, been has been lost. Has been lost. Bye. Talk about the moon. For Pisces. Someone else also has an Aries moon placement here. Talk about the moon for Pisces. Regarding love for the first half of November. Talk about the moon. For Pisces. Regarding love for the first half of November. All right. So now we've got... Ooh. Nine of Wands, Sag energy with the Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, and the Six of Pentacles, Taurian energy. With Six of Pentacles, I'm just getting fairness. Not to mention we also have Justice out here. 
the minor to the major arcana, as above, so below. So this Barker, the Queen of Swords, just wants what's right, just wants balance, just wants fairness. But Nine of Wands, they're tired. And it seems like this has been a very long, ongoing situation. And the, the, the Queen of Swords, I just feel like is so fed up. Like they're at the end of their tether. They're at the, at the end of their tether. And with the Two of Pentacles attached to that Nine of Wands, that like this energy is very exhausting, okay? Two of Pentacles is like trying to handle the everyday everything and being very busy, being very overwhelmed by that and trying to juggle like work, family, health, friends, love, all of that when nine of wands getting beaten while doing it. Okay, leave it that way. Getting beaten while trying to handle all of the stress of this and trying to maintain a balance. That's what this queen of swords has been going through. They're at the end of their tether and it's like, I just want what's right. I just want what I deserve. I just want what's fair. And this emotional roller coaster, I can't do it anymore. Can't do it anymore. Overall energy, we do have the six of wands, Jupiter, Leo energy. I do feel like someone wants to move ahead, especially with that nine of, knight of pentacles energy. Move ahead. Bye. And also attention. This Barker is barking, okay? Really, really wanting um, the person who doesn't want to listen, the non-listener, um, to just pay attention to it. To just be like, hey, I'm at the, like, it's almost like saying, look, I'm at the end of my tether. I'm trying really hard to hang in here, in, hang in there here. Just listen. Like, can we, like, just meet me halfway? I'm not listening. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. And this Queen of Swords is about to be like, if you're not gonna listen, I can't fucking do it. Like, if you're not, like, I don't have an iota of energy left. Like, you have to meet me halfway, or that's it. Like, that's how it kind of feels. Almost like, you know, if you've got like a mile between the two of you, it's like the Queen of Swords only has enough to get to the half a mile mark. The other person literally has to make it half a mile to work this out, but they're not willing to do it. So that's why the Queen of Swords is like, no, you don't understand. Like, there's no choice here. This is all I have left. This is all I have left in me. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, so let's move on to the Queen of Swords, the Barker here. Let's just look at the Queen of Swords. I feel like we're getting a lot of their actions behind this. And again, it's like, it's doing what's fair. That's what I'm getting, like doing what's fair. Um, let me do a Gilded. So I have the Queen of Swords. Or a pipe. Whole deck just fell out of my hand. <laughs> so I have the Queen of Swords for Pisces. Regarding love for the first half of November. My throat chakra is getting really tight all of a sudden. Um, yeah, this person's been trying really hard. Really hard. And they're just like, I can't. I can't. So I'm not the Queen of Swords for Pisces. Regarding love for the first half of November. Keep in mind, guys, it doesn't have to be romantic. It does feel romantic, but it doesn't have to be. It can also be family-related or work-related, okay? Some of you fam family is going to resonate this way. Yep, two of cups in reverse. Can't see your energy. I can't. I, I just can't. You won't meet me at the half-mile marker. I just can't. Talk about the Queen of Swords. Ooh, death in reverse, scorpionic energy. I feel a battle with that. Uh, death in reverse can be resistance. It can be resistance. Um, it could also be this queen wanting to really try to salvage that. Yeah, well, they do. Yeah, the queen of swords wants to salvage this. They want to, but if the if the person who doesn't want to listen can't meet halfway, they can't meet halfway, right? But I do feel this this resistance to cut this because this queen does has already put a lot of energy into this, obviously, and does care a great deal about this person. But if two people can't work together, they can't work together. Talk about the queen of swords. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. Look at that. Judgment in reverse. Fire energy. Also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Two of swords in reverse. Moon and Libra energy. And then that nine of wands again. Sag energy. It's become very clear to this queen that coming closer together is not going to happen as, as the way things are now. Like if this person can't get up and walk half a mile, it's not going to happen. They're, this queen's at the nine. They really don't have that much more left to give. And this queen's realizing that. Talk about the Queen of Swords for Pisces. Talk about the Queen of Swords for Pisces regarding love for the first half of November. Talk about the Queen of Swords for Pisces. All right, now we have oh, Page of Pentacles in a verse with the Nine of Pentacles, which is Virgo energy, also my pre Empress card. Oh, this is a very interesting energy. 
Oh, ow. This queen doesn't feel seen. Not only do they not feel heard, they don't feel seen. Ouch. That's ouch. Um, that's what I'm getting with that. Like with that Page of Pentacles in a verse. Page of Pentacles is a studious card. It's also like looking at, looking at something, taking on a new perspective at, at something, trying to understand something in a new way. This, this queen does not feel looked at at all. They feel very single. They feel very independent. They feel very confident. It's almost like you don't see my worth. Like that's how the Queen of Swords is feeling. You don't see my worth. You can't even, you can't even be bothered to listen to me. You don't even see me. I've done this. I've done that. I've given so much. I'm at the nine of wands for frick, for grip. I can't talk. I'm at the nine of wands. <laughs> I'm at the nine of wands. I put in that much effort and you still can't even just, just hear me out. You can't look at me. You can't walk half a mile to me. You don't see how amazing I am. Oh, I like that. I like that queen of swords. Overall energy. We have the four of swords in reverse Libra energy here. I just, I keep getting exhaustion. Like this queen wants a break. This queen wants a break. This queen wants a break from this connection. This queen wants a break from the situation. This queen might not like totally cut this person out completely. They just might be like, look, break time. We're going on a break. The infamous words. We were on a break. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. I feel like that's what this queen is asking for. Yeah, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles. I need a break. I need stability in my life. I can't deal with an emotional roller coaster and I can't be exhausted all the time because of you. Mm, ouch. Okay. Let's keep it going. Let's look at the four of pentacles, five of pentacles, nine of swords in reverse. This is the person who's not listening, okay? The person who's not listening, like I said, they're very closed off. Very dismissive too is what I'm getting. Very, very dismissive. And they're about to be pushed out into the cold. I feel like this person actually shut down already quite a while ago. Like this queen's been barking, barking, barking. But this person's already felt alone. They've already kind of felt abandoned, which is really interesting. Because I can feel it. This queen's put in a lot of energy and a lot of freaking work trying to talk to this person, but they've felt like they've been shut down. It's almost like they've already considered the queen to have abandoned them before, well before the queen abandoned them. Someone could have abandonment issues. Someone could have abandonment issues. You know, and it honestly, Pisces, it feels like a case of, <clears throat> oh my God, my throat chakra is not happy now. How do I say this? Um, there's been so much shit already that it's kind of like it's really hard to listen to each other it's really hard to listen and believe the other person because there's already so much history of things being bad or certain people acting a certain way you know what I mean I'm like I know you guys know what I mean like when you get to that point in a relationship that's not exactly healthy someone has been shut down they've been shut down here okay and this Queen of Swords has been talking to a brick wall, literally, because this, this person's already been like, I have already lost the queen. They're with me. They're talking to me, but I've already lost the queen. Total shutdown already. Interesting. Let's look at the Four of Pentacles, and then we'll get some advice. Yeah, we'll do Crystal Visions. Sign with the Four of Pentacles. Sign with the Four of Pentacles. Time of the Four of Pentacles for Pisces regarding love in the first half of November. Time of the Four of Pentacles for Pisces regarding love for the first half of November. Pisces, like I said, keep in mind a lot of you could have already gone through this and this person could just be thinking about you. Okay, and you could be thinking about the situation and wondering if you could have handled it differently, which is why it's coming across in your reading. And there might be some stuff you need to reconcile within yourself about that. Okay, so keep that in mind too. If you're like, this already happened, there might be a reason that you're coming across it again. Okay, maybe to look at it one more time. Doesn't mean you have to talk to them. I just mean, you know, do a little self reflection there, right? That's what retrogrades are for. Retrogrades are meant for us to be reflective. Um, and to close any unresolved stuff we have about things that have happened in the past. That's what retrogrades are for. So I have the Four of Pentacles for Pisces. Regarding love for the first half of November. Okay. So I have the Four of Pentacles for Pisces. What? That was so weird. I could not see that card for a second. That was really weird. Hangman in reverse Piscean energy. Hangman in reverse is enlightenment. It's understanding. It's inner knowing. And this person's being closed off as they come into knowledge about something. 
Wow. Pisces. This Queen of Swords. Huh. This Queen of Swords and this non-listener. This non-listener might be very intuitive. Because it's like it's almost it's almost like the reason they shut down in the first place is because they came into knowledge about something and that forced the shutdown. Like I said, it's almost like they knew that the Queen of Swords was going to cut this out. So it's like they gave up. They shut down and they gave up. I know I felt that it felt kind of heavy, right? So I have the Four of Pentacles. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. we got a Queen of Cups here. Can't see rain energy. Can't see Pisces or Scorpio. Oh, why did that make my stomach drop? Oh, that seriously made my stomach drop. Um, hmm. I feel like this person came into knowledge about another person, about a Queen of Cups energy. Keep in mind, I mean, this person could just be very much in their feelings and very emotional as a Queen of Cups, but I feel like they came into knowledge about a Queen of Cups. Let's get more cards to clarify. So I'm with the Four of Pentacles. Oh. Judgment. Fire energy, also Scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Oh, okay. Pisces, whoever you are in this situation... I have to be super honest here with what I get. Ugh. I have to be super honest here with what I get. So for some of you, this Queen of Swords was hanging in, hanging in there, hanging in this foundation that was kind of falling apart with this person who had shut down because they came into knowledge about something. And to be honest, I feel like they came into knowledge about a coming together that was happening with the Queen of Cups. that this Queen of Swords was possibly heading to. Okay? That's definitely for some of you. Because judgment, that's a coming together. That's a reconciliation. That's like something that's coming to life. That's having life breathed into it. And this person is shutting down because of that. There'd only, there'd only be one reason for someone to shut down in this way. Because of that. Because it's not their coming together. Let's get more cards. So I'm over with the Four of Pentacles. So I'm over with the Four of Pentacles. I just heard Capricorn. So I'm over with the Four of Pentacles for Pisces. Ooh. Let's see. Oh boy. Oh, this is gross. Seven of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. Nine of Wands, Sag energy. And the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Could also be Earth or Fire here. This is the Queen of Swords energy. This is the Queen of Swords energy hanging in there, keep like still wanting to fight for this, still wanting to fight for this and not moving forward. But this person is shut down and it's, yeah, it's like, it's just more of that same energy. We're getting more, we're getting repetitive messages now. Repetitive messages here. Um, like I said, the Queen of Swords really wants to fight for this. They're trying, they're trying, they're trying, they're trying to be heard, trying to be heard. But they're talking to a brick wall. They're talking to someone who shut down on them because they came into knowledge about some kind of coming together. Which is why I'm telling you, I'm like, I don't feel like, I don't feel like it'd be a coming together for this person who shut down. Because that's a very joyous thing. And they're shutting down in a very like anxiety ridden state, a very fearful state, a very lonely state. Yeah, I, yeah. Let's see what else comes out. And then we're going to clarify the Hangman Universe with the One Norman deck. So I'm at the Four of Pentacles for Pisces. So I'm at the Four of Pentacles for Pisces regarding love for the first half of November. There's that Queen of Swords again. So I'm at the Four of Pentacles for Pisces. All right, so now we've got interesting. Ooh. Ooh. Queen of Swords. Again, double confirmation. Libra energy could also be air or water with the Page of Cups, Ace of Wands in reverse, and then we have the Two of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. Remember, the Queen of Swords had the Two of, of Pentacles upright because they were trying to juggle, trying to handle everything, even though they were basically cracking under the pressure, cracking under the weight of the stress of it all, and not having that, and having someone who shut down on them, like not listening to them, right? 
Queen of Swords with the Page of Cups, Ace of Wands in reverse, Two of Pentacles in reverse. I really feel like this is a Queen of Swords basically just like, look, I've lost passion for something. Uh, I need to drop this out of my life or I need to drop a person out of my life because I need to start giving to myself. I need to start giving to myself. I need to start doing what makes me happy. I can't be on an emotional roller coaster. I can't do it. Overall energy for the Four of Pentacles. We have Two of Wands in reverse, Aries energy, making that decision to choose a path. Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo energy, Jupiter and Leo energy, doing that victoriously, moving on victoriously. And then we've got a page of wands. Um, this is new ideas, creativity, inspiration, moving forward very victoriously. The unknown card in reverse, which is basically known. So someone, so basically this queen knows exactly what they want and they know exactly where they're going. And then we have a Knight of Cups. I see an energy could also be water or fire. Knowing exactly where they're going to with emotion yeah wow this kind of sucks this is like truth is stranger than fiction it really is it really is so to paraphrase guys it seems like this queen of swords as much as they've been trying to get their partner who shut down on them to work with them to build with them to fix shit because they know something's broken this person already shut down on the queen of swords because they already knew that there was some kind of coming together happening that they were not going to be a part of Wow. And then the Queen of Swords just said, I've lost passion here. This is too much of an emotional roller coaster for me. It's too exhausting for me. I can't do this anymore. And then the Queen of Swords basically just knows exactly what they want. They know exactly what they want. They know exactly where they're going. Exactly where they're going in the form of a Knight of Cups. Keep in mind, queens can be men. It's just energy. So let's still clarify the Hangman in reverse to get a little bit more clarification here. And then we'll pull some Oracle cards. Let me use Lenormand deck on this one. Actually, let's use the OG. Let's use OG here. Okay. So I'm with the Hangman in Reverse. What did this person come into knowledge of? So I'm with the Hangman in Reverse. What did this person come into knowledge of? So we have the Bridge. Six of Wands. Bridge is a card of movement. It's literally going from one place to another or coming closer to somebody or literally mending bridges here, okay? It's also a card of fate and inevitability. I said that word just right. Inevitability. So I'm with the Hangman in Reverse. So with the hangman in reverse. We've got the stork with the queen of cups, 17 breaking down to an eight. And then we have the sickle, energy of 10. So closing cycles, opening cycles with the knight of pentacles here. Knight of pentacles and that queen of cups is coming um, in a coming together. In a coming together. It's like, I don't know why. I was like, that was really hard for me to say. Really hard for me to say. Let's see what else we got here. So I remember the hangman. Come on. Ooh, we've got the clover with the six of pentacles here. Clover is a card of like luck and good fortune. Um, yeah, luck and good fortune. Play with the hangman in reverse for Pisces. All right, now we've got the fish. Interesting with the uh, king of pentacles, 34 breaking down to a seven. The fish is usually a card about money and emotional nourishment. Okay, emotional nourishment here. Yeah, it, yeah. Basically, this person came into knowledge that someone was going from a point A to a point B. Okay, someone was going to where the grass was literally greener, if you can see that card. Hi, if you can see the card, going to where the grass was greener. And then with the uh, with the stork and the uh, sickle. <laughs> it's like, why is this hard for me to say? The stork. The stork and the sickle, excuse me, sickle's a card Sickle's a card about cleaning up. It's a card about like weeding. Think of it about, like weeding, like getting rid of the bad shit, getting rid of the bad shit so they can only have the good shit. And then stork is a card of fertility. It's a card of like nurturing, emotional nourishment as well. Nesting, building and nesting. Basically someone, th this person came into knowledge that this queen of swords was going to where the grass was greener to where there wasn't going to be any more emotional roller coaster, where there was only going to be that emotional nourishment and they were going to take action in making sure that that happened, okay? Because they were heading to a place that was so nourishing and that made them feel so abundant. Mm. There we go. Making them feel so abundant here. Overall energy, we do have the broom. So more of that cleanup energy. More of that cleanup energy with the Knight of Wands here, okay? The broom is literally, like, it's very similar to the sickle, where the sickle is more of, like, a cutting away. The broom is more about bringing shit up. More like bringing shit up to the surface to get rid of it. Does that make sense? And underneath that, we do have mice, pests, pests and annoyances. Pests and annoyances, again, more of that emotional roller coaster energy. The path, 
Yep, that's what I figured. The path with the Queen of Pentacles, and then we have a female here. A female energy with the Ace of Swords and communication and communication. Yeah. Getting rid of the annoyances, getting rid of the emotional roller coaster because someone wants that emotional nourishment. Some, something that makes them feel very abundant and fortunate and choosing a new path here towards a female where they will be talking to a female here. Okay. Female energy doesn't have to be a female gender. Pisces, this was a novel. <laughs> this was a novel. This was totally a novel here, but that's what it seems like to me. Someone came into knowledge that someone was basically going to have a coming together with someone else. Like this Queen of Swords is going to have a coming together with someone else. And this Queen of Swords kept trying to make it work regardless, not knowing that this person already kind of like had this knowledge. But that's why this person wasn't listening to this Queen of Swords. That's why this Queen of Swords was so frustrated because they were talking to a brick wall because this brick wall already checked out because they knew this Queen of Swords was already going to be leaving. I... Okay. Advice. <laughs> Let's get some advice, Pisces. Oh my God. I'm going to need a nap after this. I already took a nap, but I already need another one. I need another nap. Uh, any advice for Pisces regarding this spread? I don't even know what to call this. I don't even know what to call this. Uh Try to think of something clever. I'll think of something. Any advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Oh, it might make a second video. I don't know if it already did. My apologies if it already did. Any advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Keep in mind, we've got multiple energies. Any advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Oh, of course. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Wow. Look at that energy. Do you feel the intensity from that? Crow spirit and wasp spirit. Sometimes life stings. Co-create with spirit. 17, breaking down to an eight, leading to abundance, prosperity, nourishment, all that good stuff. 64, cyclical energy, closing out cycles, weeding out the stuff that is an emotional roller coaster for this queen of swords. Okay. Um, a cycle is definitely ending here between two people. Something that really needed to end. Um, <clears throat> With crow spirit, I kind of love the crow because it comes in a lot of different flavors. It is a card of manifesting and listening to spirit, being guided by your own intuition. And it's also a card of justice, very much like the justice card, very Libra-like. We did have a lot of Libra energy here. Can we deal with the Libra? Can I have that in your chart? Not necessarily. But basically, closing out this cycle, even if it's painful, even if it's hard to do, even if it's a hard conversation is exactly what's needed here and is bringing justice to the situation and someone's being divinely guided to do it. This Queen of Swords is being divinely guided to do it. So it else wants to come out. Any other advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Let's see what we got here. Oh my, interesting. Why do these feel so different? Wait, wait. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, got it, taking time. All right. Turtle spirit, slow and steady wins the race, 62. You got another eight here. Two eights, two eights, by the way. And then we have fox spirit, think on your feet, 27, breaking down to an nine. So it's interesting because I was like, God, these are such different energies, right? Like literally, this is an energy of speed and thought, speed and thought. Turtle is a is an energy of slow, um, slow paced thought, slow paced movement, slow paced, um, like taking the time to really understand how you feel. All right, taking the time to understand how you feel here, okay? I don't think this is saying, like, jump to action. I don't think that's what this is saying. I think it's actually saying take your time. Like, for the Queen of Swords here, take your time in assessing the situation. You might be very eager to just, like, make a lot of quick decisions in this, even though you're trying to fight for this. But the Turtle Spirit's basically saying, like, figure out how you feel before you go into think mode. That Yeah, that's exactly what this is saying. That's exactly what this is saying for the Queen of Swords. Figure out how you feel Take your time with that shit before you start making decisions and start putting two and two together. Because if you misjudge how you feel and you start making decisions based on what you think you feel and not what you actually feel, you could end up making a mistake, okay? So just make sure that you take your time siphoning through your emotions before you jump to it in your thought process, okay? Any other advice? Any other advice for Pisces regarding this spread for the first half? Nice. Cat spirit. Claim your independence. 13 breaking down to a four. I feel like this is for everybody involved, honestly. 
definitely for the queen of swords but also for this person who's just like who just shut down because they, they became aware that this that this queen of swords was going to have a coming together with somebody um whatever the coming together is they became aware of it in some fashion it feels very intuitive though it feels very intuitive either way um this is a card of being able to stand on your own i feel also feel a little bit of a death process here happening too a little bit of a death process for someone healing codependency thank you healing codependency um being able to stand on one's own i think is really important in this situation for all parties involved all parties involved it's too much of like a queen of swords trying to get someone to listen that that is a little codependent it's and it's just so exhausting right it's so freaking exhausting it's like someone needs to be very comfortable in their own emotions and how they feel on their own that's for someone out there that's definitely not for everybody any more advice for pisces regarding this spread overall energy yep snake spirit Time to heal, energy of 55, indicative of a tower moment here. Not surprised if that ever if that happens between the two of you. This conversation alone of like, I can't do this anymore is quite a tower moment. But this is a very healing situation here, okay? Because it's going to drop a lot of burdens for this Queen of Swords. And it's also going to allow this person who's just shutting down to deal with their own shit. To deal with their own shit here and get a little stronger in their own right, okay? And then I just noticed we have Peacock Spirit. Let it shine. 46 breaking down to a cyclical energy and we have mirror numbers here okay 64 and 46 so with this i really feel like it's just speaking speaking your truth just speaking your truth and not holding back anymore how you feel like owning up to how you actually owning up to how you feel queen of swords is for you owning up to how you feel take your time in accepting that and understanding that and then once you do you then you can go into action mode then you can go into speaking it but you have to really figure out how you really feel in this because I feel like this Queen of Swords has spent a lot of time just physically trying to hold this shit together to the point where they kind of ignored themselves a little bit and their self-care and in their emotions. It's time to check back in with yourself, Queen of Swords, okay? Oh, I'm gonna go nap. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this or at least found it insightful and helpful. Don't forget to go on Patreon and uh, Instagram as well and check out Vimeo. Uh, I will have the partner readings up for Vimeo sometime at the end of the week, most likely. Okay. All right, guys. I love you. Hope you have a good night. Namaste.